You feel better? Much better. Some fresh air will help. Mm. Mr. Xiang, your shoelace is loose. Oh. oh, allow me. I can do it myself. I can do it. What were you thinking? Do you think the ship's a place to mess around? Huh? Aizen. Care to explain? I thought they were aliens glowing with the white light. <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry. Where are the guests? Are they injured? I'm sorry, boss. We... We were just... Think high. The way you dealt with this problem clearly shows that you're not professionals. You've really let me down. All says with the guests? It's your fault. My fault. Stop playing. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Fishnet? Then shocked? It's even worse than I thought. I'm terribly sorry. But don't worry. They'll be punished accordingly. Are they injured in any way? The doctor has checked them both carefully. They'll be fine. Uh, oh, Mr. Xiang, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. What about you? I, I'm doing all right. But we hit the deck so hard, my hip hurts. Hey, what's that smell? Can't you smell it? How am I supposed to know? Our crew are all waiting outside to apologize to Miss Ha and Mr. Xiang. Please follow me. I mean, for real. I still don't understand what happened to us out there. I thought we were being kidnapped by pirates earlier. I'm sorry, forgive us. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Something quite strange has been happening on the ship, and they wanted to catch the culprit behind it. So they acted on their own initiative. Oh my goodness! Regardless, why do that, huh? They almost gave me a heart attack! It's fine. Their intention was good. They were trying to keep the passengers safe. Would you two like to have dinner with me tonight as a small gesture to show how sorry we are? No, that's not necessary. All I want to do now is have a shower and wash off this awful smell. Mr. Xiang, shall we go? Tell okay. let's go. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ding Kai, what do you think we should do now? What they did this time was pretty out of line, but their intention was good. They just acted this way to protect the safety of our passengers. I suggest we give all the crew members who were involved in this incident detention for one day. Wang well, Zhiyang, what do you think about this? The chief officer has come up with a punishment, and I think it's suitable. I respect this decision as a senior officer. There's a Chinese saying, newcomers seem to know everything. <laughs> I guess we're about to have some new rules established on this ship. How did you deal with Aisen and the others involved? A one-day detention. Was it Ding Kai's suggestion? What did Olsen say about it? He just said that newcomers know everything. 
Well, that doesn't sound like a friendly comment. Hey, has he made things difficult for you and Dinghai? To work on a ship like this, you need to be prepared for conflicts. You two are the only Chinese senior officers on this ship, and the upcoming test will be... Inform Dinkai. Dinkai, there's more graffiti. wearing a cap anyways. Okay, everyone. Exchange your opinions about today's topic. Mr. Chan, I Why don't we have lunch chat? Chat? I have skin touch. Yeah. How's it? All right, all right. All right, all right. That sounds good. <laughs> okay. Maybe another Take time then. I'm very interested in the business model you oh, mentioned. Oh, great. Excellent. So good. Yeah, nice to meet you. Mr. Xiang, you're always so considerate. It seems that you're the only one here to study. Uh, yes, not true. Absolutely. Oh, please sit. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you to say so. Uh, I don't know anything. I'm just curious. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Xiang is the most popular here. Mr. Xiang is indeed an accomplished man. But if you look closely, it's not just the man who's after him. The ladies are all circling around him as well. <sighs> well, Mr. Xiang is quite outstanding. Oh, uh, right. How's Miss Hu been doing these days? Don't worry. I signed someone to take good care of her. <sighs> Thank you. That's nice of you. I wonder if Dinkai can manage to get through to Mr. Xiang's son. I haven't had the chance to ask him. Are you very close with Dinkai? Not really. Uh, we were just working together to help the old couple. I used to think he was indifferent, but turns out he's just like me, a busybody. <laughs> Seems I don't know him well either. Oh, well, I changed my opinion about him after the rescue mission. You don't know how rude he was when we first met. He even locked me up. <laughs> he helped me on my last tour. Yeah, he was the one who came up with the wedding plan and asked me for help. It's a shame the plan didn't work. 